what it looks like for them to get into their legs, they do this really low squatting move where the knees press out over the toes, the butt is right over the heels, and they're getting into their quads. The, the problem with getting into this quad loaded position is we're not able to rotate very efficiently, so we're not able to create a lot of force. We create this spinning move this way, and it's also difficult for us uh, to decelerate. When I'm talking about getting into our legs, we want to get into the backside of our legs, okay? So our glutes and our hamstrings. So what that means is getting out of this squat pattern and into more of a hinged pattern where the knees are more centered over the feet or the ankles and the butt is back behind the heels. Let's talk, and this is also what allows hitters to decelerate better. So when I'm talking to hitters, as they're striding, I want them to feel their hips high. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of knee bend here, but I want the hips high versus squatted really low. So we're gonna get into the legs with high hips, create more hinge, and now rotation becomes really simple. You can just see if I'm really squatted down, how hard that is to get the hips through and to get this front leg braced for deceleration. So try that out, check it in the mirror, get your hips high in your stride, a little bit of knee bend, knees over the ankles and butt back behind the ankles. That's gonna allow your rotation to become much simpler uh, and much more forceful.